Have you ever wondered what goes into making a human hair wig and why some are more expensive than others? Well, today we're gonna go over the five common factors that can increase or decrease the cost of a human hair wig. My name is Ashley and I work for Folia by Daniel Elaine. In this video, we're gonna go over five points that influence the cost of a human hair wig. There is the hair type, the length, craftsmanship, material quality, and of course, the cap construction. These five factors influence a wig cost greatly, so let's start with hair type. There are two ways to collect hair ponytails or floor hair. Floor hair is collected after somebody's gotten a haircut and swept the hair into a pile and sold it. Ponytails are cut directly from the donor so all the hair cuticle is going the same direction, which is often referred to as Remy hair and it is the most expensive out of the two. With hair type, there is also a difference between the ethnicities that we can collect. Chinese hair is the most commonly used across the industry. It is straight and coarser, meaning each strand is thicker. Another hair type that's often used is Indian hair, which is more textured and has natural body and movement to it as well. European hair is the smoothest and it's a lot softer, so it is the most desired and it is also the hardest to come by, which makes it about 40 times more expensive than Chinese hair. The next feature that drives price up or down is length. Shorter hair is easier to find and is the most commonly sourced across the industry. When we get into longer hair, it takes longer to grow. So longer hair is harder to source and therefore it's a lot more expensive. The next feature that impacts cost is cap construction. Cap construction varies greatly. You can have a machine wefted piece or a hand tied piece. A wefted piece is going to be a lot quicker, easier, and less expensive as it takes less labor to create. Machine wefted pieces generally take about two to three weeks from start to finish. A hand tied piece is where every hair is tied by a skilled artisan and takes anywhere from six to eight weeks to create this piece. It's more labor intensive, which drives up the price. Hand tied wigs also give a more natural feel and a more natural flow to them. Another feature that drives cost would be the material quality. Especially across lace fronts, the quality varies greatly. Most commonly used is Asian lace. It is thicker, less comfortable, and can even feel itchy. Premium wig lines, such as Daniel Elaine, use Swiss lace. Swiss lace is much softer and thinner. It is extremely durable. Swiss lace is superior in quality, and it is more expensive than Asian lace. The last driver of cost for wigs is craftsmanship. The majority of wig brands use anywhere from five to eight hairs per knot, which cuts down on labor costs and cuts back on the skill needed to create that piece. It also creates a bulkier hairline with a less smooth transition from the lace front to the skin top or other areas of the wig. When you're looking at a high quality wig, you want to choose one that has one to two hairs per knot, which requires a greater amount of time and a much more skilled, meticulous artisan. This creates an extremely natural looking lace front and a more natural looking piece in general. It creates a seamless transition into the rest of your wig and it will look a lot softer around your face as well as make the wig less detectable. We've covered a lot of information today. So in summary, the features that drive the cost of a wig up or down include hair type, hair length, material quality, cap construction, and craftsmanship. If you have any additional questions, you can absolutely feel free to book a consultation, but hopefully you gained a lot of insight as to what type of wig will be the best for you and what you are looking for in your next wig purchase. We here at Daniel Elaine would love to have a consultation, a phone call, or an in-house visit anytime you feel ready. So let us know how we can help and we will be sure to do so. Thank you so much for watching.